The Perfect Machine, Building the Palomar Telescope, by Ronald Florence is a compelling narrative that not only chronicles the construction of one of the most iconic telescopes in the history of astronomy but also delves into the intricate fusion of science, engineering, and human perseverance. Florence's book not only provides a detailed historical account of the Palomar Telescope's creation but also explores the broader implications of this scientific endeavor, making it a captivating literary work that goes beyond the surface of technology. Florence begins his narrative by introducing George Ellery Hale, a visionary astronomer who dreamed of building the world's largest telescope to unlock the secrets of the universe. Hale's passion and determination serve as the driving force behind the entire project. The author paints a vivid portrait of Hale's character, emphasizing his unwavering commitment to the pursuit of knowledge and his ability to rally support from both the scientific community and financial backers. Throughout the book, Florence skillfully weaves together the historical context of the early 20th century with the technical challenges of telescope construction. He explains the significance of the Palomar Mountain site, which offered excellent atmospheric conditions for stargazing, and the meticulous planning and engineering required to transport and assemble the massive telescope on this remote mountaintop. The narrative delves into the complex web of collaborations between scientists, engineers, and philanthropists, showcasing the multifaceted nature of the project. Florence vividly describes the personalities and conflicts that arose during the construction, giving readers insight into the human drama behind this technological marvel. He highlights the role of individuals like Russell Porter and Ira Bowen, who played pivotal roles in the development of the telescope's optics and spectrographs, respectively. One of the book's strengths is its ability to convey the awe-inspiring scale of the Palomar Telescope. Florence effectively uses descriptive language to illustrate the colossal size and precision of the instrument. Readers can almost feel the weight of the telescope's massive mirror and appreciate the delicacy of the grinding and polishing processes required to achieve its optical perfection. Beyond the technical details, Florence explores the philosophical and cultural significance of the Palomar Telescope. He raises profound questions about humanity's place in the universe and the pursuit of knowledge. Through the lens of this colossal machine, the author invites readers to contemplate the interconnectedness of science, art, and the human spirit. Florence's narrative is not limited to the telescope itself, it extends to the impact of the project on the scientific community and society at large. The book highlights the role of patronage in scientific endeavors and underscores the importance of public interest and support for advancing our understanding of the cosmos. It also touches on the geopolitical context of the time, with World War II serving as a backdrop to the telescope's construction, further emphasizing the challenges faced by the project. In conclusion, The Perfect Machine, Building the Palomar Telescope, by Ronald Florence is a masterful literary work that seamlessly blends history, science, and human drama. Through meticulous research and eloquent storytelling, Florence brings to life the remarkable journey of creating the Palomar Telescope. This book is not only a tribute to the ingenuity and determination of those involved but also a profound exploration of the broader implications of scientific discovery. It reminds us that, at its core, science is a human endeavor driven by curiosity, vision, and collaboration. Florence's narrative serves as a testament to the enduring quest for knowledge and the capacity of individuals to achieve the seemingly impossible.